everyone, it's me Alma, and today's video I am going to show you how um, I'm going to show you how to use any digital paper packs that you might have bought from Etsy or wherever in your Silhouette software, so you can use any of their um, cuts and use your own pattern paper. Um, I'm talking like example. Um, I went on Etsy and I searched for a Batman paper pack, like you know, like die cuts with the view, but this is digitally. And so I bought it, I downloaded it onto my computer, and now I was able to use, make my own water bottle labels using the Silhouette Studio. And um, this is my uh, MacBook, and the background is Ain't No City Greater Than Los Angeles because I am a Southern California girl. I live in Texas, but I my heart is out in LA. I was born, raised out in Southern California, and so you're stuck watching this. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and open our Silhouette Studio. And if you hear anybody in the background, it's probably my two-year-old daughter. She's kind of been teething and stuff, so she's kind of whiny. But I've, don't worry, I have been, uh, I'm not a bad mom. I won't ignore her. Okay, so let's say you went ahead and you bought a paper pack, and now you want to use it in Silhouette Studio. So in order to save it onto your library, you're going to go up to File. You're going to go to Import to My Library. And then you're going to find in whatever folder you have your paper packs in. And then click on it. For example, I have my Batman inspired paper pack right here. And let's go ahead and click on dots 5 because that's a paper, a pattern paper. And then I'm going to press OK. So then it'll take you to the screen where you can change the file name of your paper. You can add keywords, whatever. So once you press OK, It'll close the screen off and everything. Then you're going to want to check to make sure that it imported it to your library. So go ahead and go to your, my library up here. These are all my soft, all my files. And then you're going to go to my own design. And all of the paper packs that you have now um, uploaded through Silhouette are now going to be on this file or this folder right here. Okay, so I told you I was going to show you really quick how to make your own water bottle labels or it really this will work on anything that you design any cut file that you're using from silhouette you can use your own pattern paper so let me click out of here to make a water bottle file the way I did it was I took this rectangle right here I laid it on my mat and I went ahead and I went online or you can always just measure the water bottle and the, for the water bottles that I'm using it's gonna be eight and a half inches by two or I'm sorry, eight and a half inches by one. So you're gonna wanna go to your sizing up here, your scale. Do not hit lock aspect ratio because it'll make everything proportionate. And for this, you don't want everything proportionate. You're gonna go to width at one point, I think it's, let me see, no, sorry. I always get confused. For width, you're gonna go ahead and do eight and a quarter. And then for height, you're gonna go 1.5. So here is now your water bottle label. So let's say now you wanna use the pink zebra paper pack that you bought. So you're gonna click on your image. You're gonna make sure that it's highlighted. You're gonna go back to your library, your own designs, and I wanna use this pink zebra pattern paper that I bought. So I'm just gonna double click on it and it's not going to do anything, you're going to go back over here to your show drawing area and there you go. It is now in your file. So to show you how to quickly do this on any file um, that you already own, let's go ahead and take this simple tag right here and I have it on my mat. I want to go ahead and I want to make a Batman inspired tag background. So we're going to go back to my own designs and let's use this Batman dots to right here. I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to go back to my design area and there you go. It is now filled. But you always have to make sure that your image is clicked before you do anything or else it's not going to pop up over here. Your patterns aren't going to come up over here. You're always going to look through them through your own designs. And that's it. Hopefully you found this video um, 
kind of helpful if you've been you know eyeing on how to use paper patterns I love Etsy for paper pattern packs because you can a lot of times sellers have buy two packs get one free I've gotten Batman I've gotten Minnie Mouse I've gotten Iron Man Spider-Man my son is just all into superheroes right now and so uh, definitely check out Etsy and that's it all right oh one last thing I did and this is totally non crafting or anything but I have to show you the cutest little thing I got the other day Look at this. This is called a chick boom. It's connected to my computer. But this is a little speaker. Isn't that adorable? I love it. I just, I'm sorry, I had to show it. I had to show it off because it's so pretty. It's got leopard print and it's pink and it's got little rhinestones on there. I got this from eBay, but they're from Chick Buds. And you can buy it. Amazon, eBay, like I said, the company's called Chick Boom, and this is like a miniature, it's a keychain speaker, so anytime you want to connect your iPod, your iPhone, your laptop, your anything to it, you can. Right now it's charging, but I just had to brag it to someone because it's just so freaking adorable. All right, so I hope you guys had a great 4th of July and have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.